Good morning. I'm Stephen Guarnaccia, and I'm here at Illustra Day's uh, Illustration Festival at the Greek Illustration Exhibition. The Greece is the market of honor for 2023 at the Bologna Book Plus uh, section of the Bologna Children's Book Fair. And I'm here with some of the organizers and some of the artists uh, of the festival. The sponsor, I believe, of the festival is the... Uh, Hellenic Ministry of... The Hellenic Mystery, Ministry of Culture and Sports. And so my first question when I saw that was, illustration, is it culture or is it sport? And so I, I wonder it's if... Culture uh, is it sport? So, uh, Rafaela, you are one of the curators. Uh, I wonder if you, if you have any thoughts about that. Okay, uh, tough question for, to begin with. Why don't you uh, hold it? Yes, sure. Um, so, the, the thing with the illustration is, uh, I, I will speak for, for the Greek part. So, the thing with uh, illustration in uh, Greece is that is, uh, we have illustrators who are very active and, uh, le and they're working like athletes. And uh, all the time they're trying to make uh, progress in their works. And, um, but uh, we don't have uh, so many opportunities to show their work as athletes do so we need to make more I don't know more competitions more uh, events more uh, cultural. festivals cultural events so I would say that it has uh, yeah qualities from both uh, uh, sides but uh, yeah we, we see it as an art and we want to showcase it as the art of illustration in Greek and in Greece and abroad do you have any uh, Elena do you have anything you Elena do would you like to say anything about that uh, I'm full okay with Rafaela okay. and I believe, yeah. Well, I, I will say that myself, I make illustration because I was no good at sports. <laughs> yeah. And, right, I think it's, it's, it's a I common. Like this. And That's so, but I, therefore, for me, sport has always been play because I was never good enough to compete. So, in that sense, for me, illustration is total sport. <laughs> and it is being recognized more and more and more as culture. So, uh, we have some of the illustrators here, and um, we're going to look at some of the work. Uh, perhaps you could bring me to your work. One of, one of the things that I have noticed is that... Um, Often in a culture, in a country, you will see examples of work that resemble each other in a kind of family resemblance. That there is a tendency at a particular time to make work that shares characteristics. What I am really excited about here is I don't see that. I see a bunch of personal expressions on the wall by artists who have uh, each seem to have a very personal approach to their work and have invented from out of whole cloth and so that's that's very very nice can, can we start uh, Achilles yes with you uh, this is, uh, I've done a silent book with the kaleidoscope uh, publications uh, I think it's a very personal work and uh, difficult and the this book is, is called is it a monster is it a monster yes uh, so I'm very happy, and uh, I think this is a, this is a good start for me. And is, this looks like it's a book about fear. About fear, yeah, yeah. exactly. Which is a uh, common topic for children, and uh, is for us yeah. in the moment we live in in the world, yeah. perhaps always, but even more so now. Yeah. Uh, and I think we also adults also need children's books to help teach us these things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. um, perhaps uh, you, could, you could show me uh, your book. Do you have your... Uh, this is an illustration here. And you are uh, Ageliki? Yes, I'm Ageliki. Ageliki Bozu. 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 Yes. yes. Um, this is, a, a, this is a, a chapter book. Um, has a lot of uh, images inside, and all the images are made of uh, handmade stamps. Uh, I come from fine arts. I have studied fine arts and sculpture and painting, 
So my personal interest um, in illustration has to do uh, has to do uh, around books um, from the beginning, from how how you can make a book. Uh, because uh, I study the um, the book binding too, so I'm interested in everything in everything about books uh, and illustration. Um, that's all I think I want Thank to say. You. Thank you. Very much. Uh, the other thing that I, I find, uh, it is of course difficult to know today if work is made digitally or in traditional media, but the evidence of the hand in all of the work here, even if at some stage there is a digital intervention or in fact a digital beginning, the hand is still uh, very present, which is very, very exciting. I also would like to uh, bring uh, Anna. Kelly. Anna, yeah. And oh, Kelly, sorry. Kelly. Kelly. Ke uh, Anna is the author. The author. Yes, exactly. this is uh, this is Kelly, uh, who made this and in, in, show us the book. And, and uh, could you talk? Yes. Here into yes. The little uh, uh, do I have to press something? No. no, no. Okay. Uh, okay. This is a book also about fear also about fear. It's uh, a little boy who is scared of everything and when I read the story before I accepted to illustrate it, I really found myself in it because I, it was like, it was me I, as I was scared when I was a little girl. And his fear is so big he couldn't describe how big it was until the day uh, at school the teacher taught them about the mammals and he saw the big blue whale the and he said mammal. the biggest mammal he said my fear is as big as as the big whale so he's illustrated small um, the whale is bigger than all the city all the buildings and that's about it <laughs> that's the story thank you thank, thank you. you kelly thank you. um Kelly mentioned uh, finding herself in the book, and that is another, I think, characteristic of all of th these works, uh, that I think the ideal children's book is not made for some ideal child, but is made for the child that is still inside of us, the child that we remember being, or even sometimes we make the book for ourselves as an adult, knowing that a child will appreciate it. Um, Yes, please. Uh, and uh, your your name again uh, is your Stefanidi or Fortini? It's a last name. Oh, it is Fortini. Great, Fortini. What a wonderful name. And yet you are not a photographer. You are uh, an illustrator. Yes. You didn't become a photographer. Also. So uh, can you show us your image here? I have no work here because oh. I have made this one. So, Fotini made the poster for uh, International Children's Book Day. And can you tell, can you tell us about uh, the work? Yes, uh, this uh, work um, it has to do with my country, has to do with, uh, and only with my country, for, for all the world. Uh, the hair of the, of the little girl is uh, our sky, her face is our earth. Uh, her thought, her uh, eyes, uh, her um, smile is our thoughts, uh, uh, gazing at smile, and uh, hope, and uh, strength, and all of this uh, in the colors that we that we love. Uh, it ba it is based on a, another older, older book. And that has to do with book because we have illustration, books, love, nature, all of this. Great, thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. So uh, thank you for uh, joining us. Do you want to say a final word? 
Uh, I just want to share. Yeah, I just want to share that um, we have uh, a thriving uh, community of artists, of illustrators in uh, Greece, and uh, it's important for us to to participate in those fairs and exhibitions so that we showcase their work and uh, to make connections with other international artists and professionals to promote uh, their fantastic work. Great. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much.